Joseph Stiglitz did not start his career as a development economist, but he's become one of the most influential writers on development economics today. Stiglitz's best-known early work was an economic theory in microeconomics. He, he was a phenomenally productive scholar, writing seminal pieces in areas such as the economics of information, the imperfections of credit markets, how markets allocate risk or fail to allocate risk correctly, and over a period of 20 years, he possibly wrote more well-cited pieces in top journals than any other economist. And he was known for uh, his economic models, and in general, just for the sheer breadth of achievement. For all this work, he won a Nobel Prize, but his career took a market shift in the late 1990s, when for three years he served as chief economist at the World Bank. From that time on, his attention turned to development economics, and he has written a large array of popular works, putting forward a very definite view of economic development. Stiglitz also gives a lot of talks, and he even appears fairly frequently at public rallies. He has become very much the economist as public figure. So what are his main messages? First of all, he has put forward the idea that the global rules of the economic game are systematically unfair to poorer countries. More specifically, he has argued that the richer nations impose a regime of intellectual property rights on the poorer nations, which is too strict in, for the interests of the poorer nations. This would mean, for instance, a too strict enforcement of pharmaceutical patents when Stiglitz believes that these intellectual property rights should be looser, which would mean lower prices for pharmaceuticals for the poorer nations. Stiglitz believes in trade reduction, but he thinks also that we should allow for differential tariffs and trade agreements. That is, the wealthy nations should lower their tariffs unilaterally and not insist on reciprocity from the poorer nations. Stiglitz has also raised the prospect of unilateral debt relief for the poorer nations, and he has argued there is a systematic democracy deficit in international and multilateral institutions. For instance, he has argued for giving poorer nations a greater share of voting rights in the IMF and World Bank. Taken together, all of these attempts would try to shift the current global rules and move them closer to an arrangement which suits the interests of poorer nations, or so Stiglitz has argued. Stiglitz is perhaps best known for his critique of the International Monetary Fund. The International Monetary Fund is well known for its insistence on economic policy reforms when it lends money to the poorer nations of the world. But Stiglitz has argued that the IMF goes too far or imposes conditions on these nations which are not appropriate. In particular, Stiglitz has opposed the uncritical use of the IMF advocating a. financial market liberalization, b. insistence on debt repayment, c. fiscal austerity and cuts in government spending, and d. privatization of developing country assets. These arguments of Stiglitz have been extremely controversial, and they prompted an equally famous rebuttal from Ken Rogoff, who was chief economist at the IMF for some period of time. Rogoff argued that the IMF did not, in fact, oppose these policies on critically undeveloping nations, but rather the IMF, in the view of Rogoff, would look quite carefully and see when these policies are appropriate and when they are not. Stiglitz, over time, has become increasingly associated with what is sometimes called the political left. He is seen as an eloquent and influential advocate of the interests of developing nations, but not all economists have agreed with his ideas. In general, the notion of giving developing nations a greater say in the international economic order does have a possible problem, and that is the developing nations are in some regards not as well run as wealthier nations. So giving developing nations a greater say in the world economic order may not in every regard make that order more efficient or more just. In any case, the debate continues, and Joseph Stiglitz will continue to be an extremely influential voice.